What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. And right here, there's something called the Pandora Papers that are uh, being leaked. And it reveals the hidden wealth that's happening around the globe. And you'll see a lot of popular celebrities, uh, heads of state. And it's alarming. But at the same time, I think the timing is impeccable. You might ask, well, why do you think the timing is impeccable? Because of the information I've been presenting you about Biden wanting to give more power to the IRS to track all these transactions because they want to make sure they're able to tax the wealthy so that they can pay their fair share of taxes. And it's all coming at a very, very interesting point. And I think that something like this would anger a lot of people, knowing that all these politicians, celebrities are, you know, making a lot of money doing whatever they can, you know, offshores, um, et cetera, and et cetera. And they're more likely to advocate and to push for their politicians to bring into law something that would make all transactions trackable so that these people are held accountable. That's what, what, what this whole thing, I feel, this is what I feel like is, is being portrayed by exposing and leaking all this. And folks, it's a very dangerous path. Once you start, you know, getting involved with the narrative and not asking questions as to why this happens to be leaked at this specific time. And that's my opinion. But you got to wonder, this is a very interesting timing to be exposing all of this. And yes, the system we're in now is has been flawed and they you know government has been choosing winners and losers so when they say get rid of capitalism free market we haven't been in free market capitalism but when they say get rid of capitalism you gotta take into account a lot of factors because a lot of people will be willing to go along with the narrative they get carried away and don't critically think so i'm gonna play this video and you're going to see why this would anger a lot of people and why they'd be willing to go with uh, advocating for more IRS power to get to crack down on these people. I'm just telling you my opinion, but here we go. I'm going to play this video. Is really Panama Papers on steroids. This is the Pandora Papers because we think we're opening a box on a lot of things. We're looking at about 12 million documents from 14 different service providers. These are law firms and firms that set up secret offshore accounts for people in multiple jurisdictions. The British Virgin Islands, Belize, Samoa. These documents for the very first time is actually showing the US as a tax haven itself. We're talking about some of the most famous people in the world that are in these documents. Presidents, prime ministers, government ministers, the King of Jordan, a number of very high profile Russian clients, people that are very close to Vladimir Putin. We're seeing them buying real estate. We're seeing them you know, trading in shares, using offshore companies. They're buying houses, cars, artworks. I guess it mostly demonstrates that the people that could end the secrecy of offshore, could end what's going on, are themselves benefiting from it. So there's no incentive for them to end it. We're not looking at a couple of million dollars here, we're looking at trillions of dollars. The financial centers of the world, like the US, Europe, leaders are able to funnel and siphon money away and hide it in these jurisdictions through the use of anonymous companies. These are not just like politicians and powerful people, we're talking about rock stars, including a lot of celebrities and people that have been convicted of crimes all over the world. 
A jury here in Los Angeles found 78-year-old Robert Durst guilty of first-degree murder. In arresto a Marbella, il sur latitante Raffaele Amato, boss della camorra scissionista. La famiglia Rosenthal, accusata in Stati Uniti per lavato di attivi legati al narcotraffico. The ability to hide money has a direct impact on your life. It affects your child's access to education, access to health, access to a home. We're looking at a system here that is harming people. It's harming the world. And it's important that people know about it. And there you have it. And so, as, as this unfolds, this, like, I think it will be very, very interesting to see where we go with this. Because this could set the precedent for a change in uh, uh, regulatory laws and how... Uh, finances are tracked and how that can invade the privacy of individuals accounts and so as this moves forward i want to remind you that we're not heading back to that pre cerveza sickness world we're not it's a sad reality but it's 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 where things are headed and a crisis awaits us that is going to take a lot of conviction of of what you believe and where you stand on principles and i think um it it, it it will test a lot of people but as long as you prepare beforehand that's what's important and so i hope this episode has brought you some value like and subscribe comment below let me know your thoughts as always i like hearing from you this is the digital world podcast and i'll see you in the next episode